Come in like Dana White, Mom. <laughs> She's so crazy. Hi, my name is Nicole Russell from Last Dragon Pizza, right here in Rockaway, Queens. Welcome to my humble abode. Today, we're gonna make chicken pizza two ways from one dough recipe, and then I'm gonna show you how to bake it two ways. First, we'll make the tandoori chicken pizza, and then I'll make our jerk chicken pizza. Today, we're gonna take your pizza game to the final level, Last Dragon Pizza style. Stay tuned. At Last Dragon Pizza, we specialize in ethnic, globally inspired pizzas. So one of my signature pizzas is our 7th Heaven Tandoori Chicken Pizza. I guess you're wondering, how did tandoori chicken end up on a pizza? Easy. I wanted Indian food, and there was none in the neighborhood. So I said, you know what? I gotta make it. Let me just show you how to make it. First, we're gonna take our yogurt. We're gonna put it in the bowl. And then we're gonna take all of our spices. You could put a little bit of a thyme or the whole thing. So I'm just gonna dump it in there. And then what I'll do is I'll just fold it in. Now, and you see what the color? Pinkish at first, but when it cooks, it's gonna be orange. Now, we're gonna add just a little, olive oil. not a lot, cause you know, you want the consistency to still be firm. So we're gonna take a little olive oil in the cap, then I'm gonna continue to fold it in there. The oil is important because it's gonna coat our chicken, and then it's gonna go in the oven at a very high temperature, so this will keep everything nice and moist. You know what I mean? Isn't that gorgeous? Look at it. So now we have to add chicken. Dorothy, can you please bring me some chicken? Come in like Banner White, Mom. <laughs> She's so crazy. So you just put a little chicken in there. And then we're going to just stir that in. And now that that's all combined, our chicken, our tandoori masala marinade, we're going to let this sit and chill out for a little bit so it can get nice and, you know, flavorful so you can taste everything when we do the pizza. So now we're going to make our jerk chicken marinade for our jerk chicken pizza, which we call the Kiss Me Converse. When I was coming up with my menu, I wanted to offer something that represents me. I was born here, but my family's from Jamaica, so I grew up on jerk chicken, and I definitely wanted to create a pie that represented where I'm from. So now we'll make our marinade. Medium-sized onion, ginger, yellow scotch bonnet, it's important. Not habanero, not chili, not red, yellow. Can't make jerk without yellow. And of course, garlic cloves, lime, scallions, some browning, can't show you what kind, but it's browning, and some soy sauce, okay? And of course, we're gonna use our blender. All you're gonna do is just dump this stuff right in here and let the blender do the work. So we're just gonna take our scallion, cut off the edges, and just, you know, chop it up. Then we're just gonna dump it in. Take the onion, chop it in half, medium-sized onion, drop it in, just drop it in. Ginger, this is so good like this. Let the blender just do all the work. Drop it in. Got our ginger. Scotch bonnet. Now, here's the deal. If you like spicy, hot jerk chicken like me, drop it in. If you don't, I suggest you slice it up, remove the seeds out the middle, and then put the flesh only inside, you know? But if you like it spicy like me, you do what I'm going to do. Drop it in. And then our garlic cloves. Drop it in. Drop it in. And then I'm just going to take all this goodness right here and pour it right in. Boop. And then a little oil just to get it a little moist in there. And then just a little, I'm talking about a little bit. It's, I gave you the right measure, but just a little bit of soy sauce. And just for coloring, a little flavor, but just for coloring, a little browning. Later on, we'll add the lime to taste because, you know, you got to see how it comes out. You don't want to just throw a lime in there and the acidity is all off balance. Shut it down. On mine, I just do like a crush. So that's what I'm going to do now. Ready, set, go. So now I'm just going to check the consistency. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is just take a, a lime and I'm going to just slice it the long way. And I like to just peel the lime right off. See how the juice is, a little bit of juice is coming out? And this, I know it's going to give like a little bit more of a bitter, but I like that little bit of bitterness in with the lime. 
time to check it on out. Oh yeah, now this is the way it's supposed to look. Okay, that's it, our jerk marinade is done. So now we just gotta add this marinade to our chicken. Chicken, please. <laughs> this is our chicken. Basically what I do is, this chicken is diced. After it's cooked off the stove, I take it off the bone. I recommend cooking chicken on the bone when you're gonna do something like this. Reason being is the bone is where all the flavor is. Get it? So what you're gonna do is take the, after you get off the bone, take off the bone, you can shred it with a fork, or you can do like me. Cube it up, dice it up like this. Special, please. Thank you, it just magically appears. Thanks, Mom. And then we're just gonna spoon, get it nice and all in there, all that deliciousness. And then, you know, just toss it around. Toss the chicken all around in a jerk marinade. Okay, it's very well coated. We're gonna put this to the side and we're eventually gonna take it outside. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our dough. During Hurricane Sandy, my house was affected. We lost the whole bottom part of our house. So for over a year, construction workers were up and down the block working on our homes, and I got to know them pretty well. I started making pizzas just for fun. One day, I just offered one of the construction workers that was really always at my house all the time, Louis. I said, hey, I'm gonna make some pizza. You wanna try it? So I made him a pie, and he loved it, and he became my first customer. And then he told a friend, and he told a friend, so then I had to come up with like this concept. And I remember when I was a little girl, my sister took me to go see the movie, The Last Dragon. And in that movie, there's a black family that makes pizza. And that made me think, hmm, maybe I should make pizza like Daddy Green's in the movie, The Last Dragon. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on our scale with our bowl already on there. Our unit is on grams. And we also wanna make sure we're all zeroed out. So now we're gonna add our flour and we're gonna make sure we add exactly 500 grams. 500 on the dot. We need 315 milliliters of water, so we're gonna add it. Now we gotta add 15 grams of salt. So let's add the salt till we get to 8.30. Boom, 8.30. One tablespoon of organic raw honey. Okay, and then finally we're gonna add just a quarter teaspoon of active dry yeast. You should find a yeast that you don't have to proof beforehand like this one. You just drop it in and you're all set to go. So now let's put this baby on our mixer. So make sure you use your dough hook. We're gonna mix our dough on the first speed, just one. So what I'm looking for is everything coming together and then slowly add olive oil. You see how it's coming away from the bowl? That's what you wanna see. As I add the rest of the olive oil, the dough will get shinier. Our dough is looking fantastic. Now we're gonna move it to speed two. Yeah. Okay, we're done. And you wanna know when your dough's ready? You see that stretch? That means the gluten is starting to form. See? You see how my dough's a little soft like this? A little loose? Guess what? I like it like that. It's gonna be crispy. The wetter the dough, the crispier the pizza. And we're gonna just throw one. some flour on our surface. Uh, look at that. That's gluten, baby. Yay! When you flour on your surface, don't put a lot. Remember, we wanna keep the moisture in our dough. So we're just gonna knead. This is how I knead. I stick, fold, stick, fold, stick, turn, fold. The kind of flour that I swear by is nuvola. Baking pizza at home, you don't want to use a super fine flour because the heat is not hot enough. And what you want is you want your dough to spring in the oven. The nuvola, which is a type 1 flour, is a sturdier flour. So now this is how I seal my dough. You want to take it like this, and you want to close it up. Fold it, close it up, fold it up, close it up, close it, close it. And then I'm going to just make sure it's all closed. No holes, boom, on the bottom. And then I'm just gonna seal it on here. What we're gonna do before we let this rest, we're gonna cut them into our sizes. One for our outdoor pizza and one for our pizza that we're gonna do right here in this home oven. So I'm gonna take my bed scraper, get all the excess flour, put it here. And then I'm gonna get my scale back in action. Here we have our scale. For our home oven, I wanna have a 450 gram pizza. And for outside, we're gonna make a smaller one, 300 grams. So let's see. I'm gonna cut it right here down the middle. Scale. 450 on the nose! Oh! I know what I'm doing, I'm telling you, baby. 
gentlemen, and make sure it's properly sealed. Remember, dough has to be properly sealed. Now we're going to need like 300. You think I can do it again? Let's see. 294. I was close. I was close. 303. You know what? Ah, three grams. What do you care? All right, here we go. It's best if you make this dough a day ahead because right now we're going to let this dough rest 12 to 48 hours. The kind of dough that I use has to rest at least 12 to 48 hours because fermentation is, is important. You need your dough to form gluten and to, you know, ferment. The longer it ferments, the easier and more digestible it is. I found like the top-notch pizzolos and the top-notch pizza restaurants, they all make their doughs days in advance. Our dough has chilled overnight 12 hours. Your dough should look silky like that. You see that silkiness on there? That's what you want. Put a little flour on our surface. Top down, right here. We're going to put a little bit of flour on top. To stretch out your pizza, the first thing we're going to do is just press some air. And remember, the outside is going to be our crust. So we don't want to press too far, just enough to give us some crust. Okay, so here we go. Press it down. So I'm pushing the air out and around. See how my middle is? And I'm just going to rub all the flour around here so we don't have the dough sticking to our peel. All right, I'm going to flip it over. But you gotta remember, this is our downside, so we gotta flip it over again. Flip it back over, and we're, we're gonna do the method where we use our hand to stretch open the pie, like that. And now the dough is getting stretched, so now we're gonna lift it and stretch a little bit more. We get this dough nice and stretched, and we're gonna lay it down nice and easy. Remember, this is our bottom. I'll stretch out a little more, I like it a little bigger, a little thin crust, and that's our dough. So we already have a little flour on our peel, ready to go. Rub that flour around. Remember, you're going to be launching this in the oven. So you want the flour to be right around the edges here. So we're going to take our piece of dough, just lay it right here. You want to make it nice and round. And now we're going to add our marinara. Good thing about a ladle is it gives you just enough for a pizza. Just going to spoon it directly on the dough. Circular motions. And remember, you want to leave a little space for the crust because you want the crust to puff up in the oven. And if you put the sauce too close to the edge, you won't have a beautiful crust. So now we got our ingredients for our tandoori chicken. Start the show. Tandoori chicken has been marinated. We got our cheese. Fundamentals, baby. Add the cheese evenly. This is about 200 grams of cheese. And that's okay. It's not like extra cheese. It's just right enough. I like to get the edges of the sauce because the, when it gets in the oven, the cheese is going to go And I like to make sure it's all But don't worry, it's going to spread. Don't you worry. We're going to use red onions, grape tomatoes sliced in half. And at the end, we're going to top with cilantro and a squeeze of lime. What should I do first? Hmm. We're going to add some onions. You know why I'm going to add the onions first? I like the way the orange chicken looks on the top tandoori chicken in the marinade and it's, see how much marinade is on there that's gonna spread so we're just gonna dollop it on there dollop it when you're making a pizza you want to put it close to the center because what else is the center the first bite but you also want to put it away from the center so it doesn't like let the pizza like you know drip before I put a piece in the oven I always get a little tap flour everywhere right you give it a little pinch like that and add some tomatoes on here and now this baby is ready to go. So my oven is on 550 on the bake setting. We have our baking steels in our oven. You can use a baking steel or a baking stone. Um, they both give you excellent results for home pizza. So let's put this in the oven. So now our pizza's in the oven. We're gonna set our timer to five minutes. That won't be our total bake, but that's just gonna get the pizza party started. Our first five minutes is up, so now we're going to do an additional three minutes on our confection roast feature. Oh, it's looking so good. Give it a nice little turn. Woo, look at that. Oh. So now we're going to add some cilantro to this baby and then squeeze of lime. That's really going to make the difference. Now it's time to cut this baby. Wait, do you hear that? That's called a crunch. Now 
Now we're gonna do our jerk chicken pizza. We have our jerk chicken still marinating. We're gonna top it with some onions, black olives, yellow peppers, and at the end, we're gonna add some scallions. I'm gonna flour my surface a little bit, the top side down. Sprinkle some flour on top like this. Rub it all around. And then again, we're gonna start with our um, pressing the air towards the circumference of the pizza. You wanna leave the, the crust, right? Right here. I'm gonna flip it over, but I'm gonna remember this is the bottom of the pizza. Flip it back. And I'm just gonna start opening it a bit. Like this. Don't be scared. Make your own dough. And then you'll be so proud. Add a little sauce. You know, the thing is, a lot of people gave me suggestions with my jerk chicken pizza. They say, why do you add sauce and you're gonna add the jerk marinade? What a lot of people don't realize is that the acidity with the tomato sauce actually goes with curry. And you know, jerk is basically like a curry, kind of, sorta, kind of, sorta. When I was younger and I would go to Jamaica as a child, my mom would take me there and all the older women would sit around and they would make all the jerk seasonings from scratch and they would jar it. So my aunts would make the jerks from scratch. So I grew up, you know, watching my grandmother and my aunts make jerks marinate all the time. So let's top with some jerk. I'm gonna just top. So you see how I'm strategically placing the jerk chicken on the pizza because the marinade has some liquid and I don't want that liquid all over my pizza. Plus, I want to strategically lay it down so when the heat spreads it out, it kind of distributes a little bit more evenly. We're going to top with some onions and then we're going to add some yellow peppers. Then we're going to add some black olives and we're good. I'm going to flour my peel a little bit. Just kind of just drag it on here. If you feel better, dress your pizza on a peel. Give it a little shaker shaker. Let's load this baby up. Okay, perfect launch, ladies and gentlemen. This oven can get to like a thousand degrees. I'm just telling you, a thousand and better, I'm telling you. So you really have to watch your pizza like I'm gonna do now. <laughs> so we wanna make sure that we rotate this pizza because the back, of course, will cook first. So look at that. You see how I take it out? You see how the back is already? It's only been in there a minute. So we're gonna rotate this pizza. This pizza, believe it or not, it's almost done. And you know what else is so good about doing the jerk and all East, even the tandoori? These dishes are used to fire. So the flavors, oh my God. I told you, this thing is done. Maybe one more second. There she goes, all done. So now I'm gonna top it. You know how Raffaele Esposito offered Queen Margarita the margarita, and they used the colors of the Italian flag. That's what I'm doing here. The Jamaican flag is gold, black, and green. So to finish our jerk chicken pizza, we're gonna add crosses, just like our Jamaican flag with the X's. We're gonna add green X's. And this is just an homage to my heritage. My mom exposed us to all different kinds of cultures, all different kinds of foods. So I grew up eating and I grew up watching. And then when it was my turn, it came to me naturally. So I guess you're wondering, what's the difference between this bake in the uni oven and then the bake that we did with the tandoori chicken pizza in the home oven? And the difference is one heat. This pizza was done literally by fire. Fire is what made this pizza. Versus the other one was more like convection heat. And, and the process of the way the dough rises in that heat is a little different. Okay, so let's cut this baby. Middle, cut out. Middle, cut out middle cut out and then that way supposedly it comes apart easier you know so let's cut this baby up and let's give this baby a try and look at that bottom perfect see that so let's give it a try mm. is it wrong to like your own pizza <laughs> i think it's so good it's so good the spices and the fire directly on the jerk 
It makes such a difference. I mean, a home oven is cool, but nothing beats 900 degrees. So there you have it, chicken pizza two ways, using one dough recipe and two different bakes. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. It's been so much fun, and I hope to see your comments and tell me if you're trying these recipes um, at home. Give it a try. Don't be scared. Make your own dough. Make your own sauces. Make your own dishes. And let me know how it comes out. Okay? See you soon.